Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add voice recordings into your Google Forms and how your students can respond to Google Forms questions with voice recordings of their own. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use the Chrome extension called Moat. You'll find it right in the Chrome store. It's M-O-T-E. And you can see here, I have it installed already. So I'm going to go to this first question and I'm going to simply put in a prompt of, tell me something good that happened today. Now, I'm also going to click to record. That's the little moat icon that appears when you have the moat Chrome extension installed and enabled. Let's click to record. Hi students, it's Mr. Byrne. Please tell me something good that happened at school today. I'm gonna to click that done button and it's going to insert that link to a voice recording. Now it's gonna take a few moments, but once it has processed, we'll see a play button appear right inside the form. Now we can also do this for multiple choice questions. We do it for any kind of question that we want to use at all. So let's go here and again, this time, I'm gonna make a multiple choice question and I'm just simply going to click to record. I'm not even going to type out the question. What is your favorite kind of ice cream? And I can put in my answer choices now. And again, when this processes, we'll see a play button appear and students will be able to click on that play button when they view the Google form and hear that question read aloud by me. So now we see here the demo form in the student view. I just used the preview button. That's all I did here is I just clicked on preview so that we could see the demo form from a student view. And a student's gonna fill this out like they normally would. But now they can listen to the prompt Hi students, it's Mr. Byrne. Please tell me something good that happened at school today. Now they can write the response and say, today I found out that I made honor roll. So you can do that option, but if I delete that text, we'll see there's a click to record button. Now your students will need the Moat Chrome extension installed in order to click to record and respond. But if they have it installed, they can click to record. Today, I found out that I made the honor roll for the first time this year and I'm super excited. That's a good thing that happened at school today. And so then their voice recording will become a part of their submission at the end here. And they submit that response. Now as the teacher, when I go into the responses, I'll have a link to that moat recording. Now there's my summary, but I can go question by question, just like I normally would. Or I can even open it up in a spreadsheet and have that link right in a spreadsheet where I can go and click on it to listen to my student's response right inside the spreadsheet. Today, I found out that I made the honor roll for the first time this year. And I... So that's how you can add voice recordings into Google Forms and how your students can reply to your Google Forms with voice recordings of their own using the Moat Chrome extension. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit practicaledtech.com.